protection and promotion of consumer protection. DTI never ceases in ensuring that consumer welfare is protected and promoted through the development of policies and standards and enforcement of laws to that end. It continues to work on guaranteeing sufficient food supply at reasonable prices, safe and quality products in the market, and efficient resolution of consumer complaints. Strengthening Product Certification and Testing To enhance consumer protection in the country, the Bureau of Product Standards' mandatory product certification scheme was expanded, resulting in the issuance of 7,836 ICC or Import Commodity Clearance certificates and 399 PS licenses, with processing rates of 95.13% and 88.22% within 16 working hours, respectively. Through this, the contribution to the national coffers has also increased significantly to 24,718,777 pesos. BPS also supported the development of the conformity assessment industry through the recognition of conformity assessment bodies. For August 2022, one testing laboratory, one auditing body, and one inspection body were included in the list of BPS-recognized CABs. The operation of these laboratories and inspection body entails generation of much-needed jobs. 26 inspections and 63 factory audits were conducted to check compliance of products with applicable technical regulations. As part of the BPS's strict monitoring and implementation of the mandatory product certification schemes, 13 show-cause orders were issued against companies found violating certification policies. BPS also witnessed the destruction of products with an estimated total value of 3.05 million pesos that were found non-conforming with the requirements of relevant standards to ensure that these non-conforming products will not be distributed in the local market. The BPS testing laboratory tested a total of 726 of 804 samples received within the prescribed period. A total of 1,582,650 pesos was collected in exchange for the testing services through the automated processing of statement of account and payment slip. Issuance of Timely and Relevant Consumer Policy the DTI has issued and published the 12 August 2022 Suggested Retail Price Bulletins for Basic Necessities and Prime Commodities and School Supplies due to the increasing prices of raw and packaging materials, production and other logistical costs. 67 out of the 218 shelf-keeping units in the SRP Bulletin of BNPC have price adjustments. In the light of the Directive of the President to DTI, to make fertilizers affordable for farmers, the Consumer Policy and Advocacy Bureau conducted data and information gathering from the Fertilizer and Pesticide Authority and other global sites concerning the rising fertilizer prices in the Philippines. Intensifying Consumer Advocacy DTI through CPAB has conceptualized and produced two Dear Consumer Care videos on senior citizen discount and price freeze, which were uploaded in the DTI Consumer Care Facebook page. Moreover, the following topics were covered in the Consumer Care webinar series that were organized and hosted. Benefits and discounts for a person with disability. Plans and programs on disaster risk reduction and management. Nutrition in emergencies and its importance. Livelihood disaster assistance program for MSMEs. Response and relief operations during disasters for consumers. DTI has also continued airing Consumer at Ibapa. Episodes in DZBB every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Topics covered included Pinoy Coco Pandesal. Poisonous Objects, Guidelines on the Provision of the Mandatory Statutory Benefits and Privileges of the Senior Citizens and Persons with Disabilities on their purchases through online or e-commerce and phone call or SMS, Natural Disaster Resilience Month, DTI Monitoring on BNPCs, and Supply and Prices of Agri-Products. Ensuring Efficient Consumer Complaints Resolution the DTI has received a total of 1,808 complaints from July to August 2022, of which 1,802 were resolved within the prescribed time with a 100% resolution rate. Of the 1,808 consumer complaints received, 1,762 were resolved 100% through mediation and 40 of 46 were resolved 87% through adjudication.